Well, welcome back to Distinct Worlds. I'm Jen. I'm Chris. And today we're going to be talking to you about our top 10 lounges. Now, these are things that we have picked that we love personally. Um, of course, this so, uh, list is subject to change because depending on what we visit on this trip or future trips, uh, the list will probably be juggled and blah, 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 yada, yada. Uh, this will cover the parks, resorts, and of course, Disney Springs. So first on our list is your favorite. The Cruise Cup over at Yacht Club. Um, for me, it's atmosphere, which, you know, it's intimate. It's not too big, not too small, and it doesn't hold a lot of noise. Uh, great beer selection for me. Uh, I judge a lot of my lounges by the variety of craft beers that are available, and they seem to have one of the biggest selections on property, as well as munchies. Yeah, they probably have one of the better uh, lounge menus um, I, that I've seen. And it could be because uh, Yachtsman Steakhouse is right next door. Uh, one of the things I also like about Cruise Cup is that you, there's like a little meat locker window sort of thing that you can peer in. Of course, during the day, not a whole lot of activity, if any at all, in there. However, um, and we haven't been there later, I'm going with the fact that there's probably in there someone cutting up some of those lovely, lovely pieces of beef for the diners inside. And I just look at all that meat and the omnivore in me just like going, ah, I would like one of everything, please. So there you go. All right. So for number two, we have Raglan Road over at Disney Springs. Um, what I like about Raglan Road is a variety of things. It's, uh, you know, of course, an Irish pub. However, it has a little bit more modern twist. Um, the fact that it was brought over brick by brick from Ireland. And, oh, and I still don't remember the poet's name, but he wrote about Raglan Road. And there's a statue, a replica statue outside of him. It's the only replica outside of Dublin, Ireland. Of course, the original is in Dublin if you'd like to go see it. Um, and, of course, the entertainment, the house band, the dancers, the food, yeah, the beer. There's a lovely selection of beers and whiskeys. Of course, they have a full bar. Yeah, um, it, it's just sorry, we, I'm rambling. We, we we enjoy going to this uh, venue. I don't think there's been a trip. Did we even go on our last? Well, there might have been one trip. We have not been to Raglan Road. No, I'm pretty sure we went on the last trip. Really? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure we went on the last trip. Um, but yeah, we had it. We enjoy ourselves there. It. We go there for brunches. We go there for dinner. We go there for lunch. We go there for lunch. Um, I don't remember the name of the guy either. That's in the in the statue. But if you're in Dublin, it is a couple. It's a couple, maybe a mile, mile and a half south of Trinity College, if I remember right. It's not that far from there, but... And he's he's by the river, if I remember yeah. correctly, so... Our third spot is the Brown Derby Lounge at Disney's Hollywood Studios. You still want to say Disney MGM, don't you? I do. It's a bad habit. <sighs> I know. Those were the good old days. Anyway, um, the Brown Derby Lounge. I mean, the restaurant's really nice, and it was kind of cool when they opened up the lounge. It is the basically what would be their patio area so it is a little small so you just have to keep that in mind so it may be a while before you could get a table yeah but usually they'll let you know hey it might be so long of a wait but we're not absolutely positive so they're really good about that yeah the uh for me it's not so much the beer selection it's a it's okay it's not anything that i go out of my way to go hey i must get you know but there might be some imports from like Italy that you won't see uh, anywhere else on property. So it's always kind of nice to see some of those things. And it's good for people watching because you are outside. Yeah. Uh, um, they're, they're, sorry, they're, yeah. uh, they do have two, uh, two different menus. They've got their lounge menu, which has, you know, a few select items on there, but then they also, you're able to eat off of the full menu from the restaurant. So you they, can have your choice. They usually will ask, would you, they give you that option. So um, we often order off the regular yeah. restaurant menu, though there are a few items we have ordered off of the lounge only menu. So moving on. We are still in the 
Disney Hollywood Studios at the Tune In Lounge, which is part of the 50s Primetime Cafe. Um, this is a smaller lounge. It's kind of attached uh, to the bar area, is kind of attached to the waiting area. Um, so that's why we're saying it's kind of small. Um, of course, you can get some, it's a full bar, lovely adult beverages. Uh, again, if you are actually seated at the bar here, you have the option if you would like to order from the restaurant menu. Um, however, some we know that there are some people who just go in there and they can order, say, like the peanut butter uh, shake that is apparently very popular. I have not had it. Don't know. So... Is there anything else you would like to say about this? No, it's, it's you know, again, they've got a decent craft beer selection. Last time we were there, uh, I remember seeing some items from California breweries, so I was kind of happy about that. So. It's a nice place. We're right. going to leave uh, Hollywood Studios. We're going to take a little walk to Epcot. I don't really walk like this. Are you sure? No. Okay. <laughs> so, next on our list is the Rosen Crown Pub in the UK Pavilion. I almost thought it was going to be the England Pavilion, but it's the UK Pavilion. It is the UK Pavilion. I keep forgetting that. He's so silly. Um, the Rosen Crown Pub is uh, is small, so it, it's it gives you that like very intimate feeling. Um, so that's kind of nice, except for when it's really busy and then you feel like you're like this. Yeah, it, it's easier to get a seat early in the morning, around when Sh World Showcase opens. If you can get there in the la first hour. You're good to go. Just note, though, sometimes, if I remember correctly, it actually doesn't open at 11 with World Showcase. I think it actually opens more like at 11.30. Yeah. So. It, I think it has a slight delayed opening. But, uh, especially in the afternoon, it afternoon, mid-afternoon, early evening, it gets really crowded in there. So, uh, but the one of the good things I enjoy is they do a proper pint of Guinness. I, I, it, he it's, loves Guinness. I do. It, it's great. It's really a delicious in Dublin, and it's difficult to get it done right in the states. So, well, you know, if you've never had a proper pint poured, go here. Oh, go to Raglan Road. They're gonna set you up correctly. So moving on, now we're traveling over to the monorail loop, and we're going to stop first, oddly, which is actually towards the end before you get to the Magic Kingdom, which would be the Grand Floridian. This one's not your regular lounge or inside a restaurant sort of thing. It's actually the Courtyard Pool Bar. Why do we like this place? Uh, a, it's one of the earliest openings for any of the bars so basically all the pool bars open around noon, uh, but this one in particular seems to have the widest selection. You know, I can roll in there, I can get a Chimay, I can get a Cigar City High Lie, I can get, a, if I remember right, I could get a Ballast Point uh, Sculpin IPA. I, it was just all over the place and it was great. You know, it they didn't keep me to just east coast or southeast uh, beers you know we did have like I said the Chimay's uh, I could get I could have sworn there was another German beer in there somewhere on that list and the beer um, offerings at any of these lounges is subject to change they do change out a little bit and I'm not sure how frequently so what we are what we have enjoyed in the past may actually not be there next time we go exactly you know I'll be kind of sad to not see you know don't cry left hand milk stout gone well I'm not saying it's gonna be gone that'll forever. Be sad. that'll be sad don't don't cry <laughs> It's all right. Okay, we, we need to move on to the next lounge, which where you did have left hand milk stout, and that would be at Citrico's, um, which is also at the Grand Floridian. So we have eaten in the restaurant, but we also like the lounge because sometimes we don't want to yeah. have the full service sort of thing. Sometimes yeah. it's just like we go in initially like with the, ah, let's just have a couple of drinks, and next thing you know, we're... 
Yeah, part of it is, Eating. you know, we enjoy visiting some of these lounges to lounge. We will spend several hours eat there. Sometimes not intentionally. It just happens. You know, it, it's what we en we enjoy doing that. We don't, you know, we, yeah, we might have a dinner reservation on one night and the next night we have no dinner reservation. We're just like, we're going to keep it wide open and we'll spend four hours because I don't want to be, f I don't want to have that feeling at a restaurant that, hey, you need to move along. We need to turn this table over. And we can see how busy the lounge is and stuff. And if it's really, really busy, then obviously we will tend to cut our time there. Sometimes we intend to cut our time. Sometimes the bartender's like, ah, you're fine. Don't even worry about it. So then we're like, meh, well, if we stay, we stay. If we don't, we don't. So Exactly. So, you know. And sometimes the lounges really aren't that busy at all. No. So it, it, it allows the bartenders to have a little variety in their evening instead of just slinging drinks all night. Yeah, and as Citrico's, as with the Brown Derby Lounge, you have the option of ordering from the um, full restaurant menu for food, if that's what you would like. So that's kind of nice. So we are now moving backwards to the Polynesian and the Tambu Lounge. We chose the Tambu Lounge primarily because of atmosphere. It's... It's small, but... In Fun. And, yeah. Usually. You, you, you have fun there. It, it's the bartenders make it enjoyable. Obviously, we haven't made it downstairs to Trader Sam's yet. The last time we were there uh, was in February of 2015. And not quite open yet. Not even for soft opening. We missed it. By that much. I think we literally did miss it by that much. Yeah, not just to get smart reference. Um, but the Tambu Lounge, like, doesn't have like the most variety of beer but you know full bar um they have some great specialty cocktails that um i i don't think i've imbibed in yet i might do it this trip i hear the lapu lapu is very popular as well as the back scratcher uh that is a shout out to you drunk at disney and the three o'clock parade um but yeah yeah rhiannon's not going to be pleased with that but that's beside the point anyway moving on to <laughs> Uh, we're going backwards yet again. We got up past TTC. Yes, you got to get past TTC. So you got to get over that little speed bump to the Contemporary. And at the Contemporary, we are going to the... Let's see if you can think about it. Just give it a moment. And, and, wait. Go ahead, tell them. The Wave. No. Oh. Though they do have a bar. Outer Rim. No. Try again. Chef Mickey's. They don't have a bar. That technically would be... Outer Chef Mickey's rim. really needs a bar. No, technically that's the outer rim. Oh. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe California in you. California Grill Lounge? Yes! Yes! I'm so proud of you. So proud. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Anyway, so, uh, the California Grill Lounge, um, you just need to let them know, because um, downstairs, of course, they're checking in the folks who have reservations. Just let them know that you would like to go to the bar area. When you go upstairs, you just again let them know, hey, I'm going to the bar area, and they will let you go into the lounge, provided it's not hugely busy. Um, that lounge actually does tend to get busy, um, merely from the fact that people, of course, we like to linger, but people go up there with the purpose of seeing the fireworks because it's one of the perks of eating at California Grill is that if you're around there for fireworks time, they kind of turn, dim the lights a little bit, they play the music, and of course you can always go outside to the little walkway, that, well, it's more like a catwalk, I guess, Yeah. and um, where, uh, of course, they are still piping out the music and you can watch the fireworks at the Magic Kingdom. It does get windy up there if you go outside, so please be sure to bring a jacket if uh, you need to. And if you're recording, video recording up there, bring a, a, a mic cover, wind. Or buffering. Yes. So, so. Um, it's quite entertaining, I think, to watch the bartenders, and they have an open kitchen. Yeah. So you can kind of watch the kitchen a bit. And, of course, you get to order off the main menu if you are there for food. Yeah, for me, I actually prefer viewing it from the south catwalk versus the north catwalk. Everyone seems to head to gravitate towards the north catwalk. Uh, if you don't know your north from south, it's the catwalk going towards Magic Kingdom. The south one is the one 
going the other direction. So. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's another area where you can, I don't think, because they don't pipe in the music, but you can kind of peek out and watch and um, see illuminations when yeah. um, that's happening at Epcot, because that's the end of the resort. Right. And our last one is a special gem which is meant for Disney Vacation Club members yep. and their friends and family. Sort of thing, yeah. They have to be there with you. Yeah, so, and that is? Uh, Top of the World Lounge at Bay Lake Tower. Um, when they first opened this, it was strictly for the uh, Disney Vacation Club members staying at the resort, and then they opened it up to any DVC member, um, basically, so long as they could provide, you know, their little DVC credentials. So, um, that was good. That was yeah. fine. Uh, <laughs> there are a couple times a year that they do force you to still be a, staying at Bay Lake Tower, uh, to be able to go up there to the lounge. And it's, those are probably some of the more peak times of the year. Yeah, I think it's mainly around Christmas time is from my understanding. Uh, what I enjoy about these, about this lounge is A, you know, for the fireworks you're able to go outside and view them. They do dim the lights in the lounge and pipe in the music again for the Magic Kingdom fireworks, not so much for Epcot. Um, just, I think Epcot's just a little too far. Yeah, just a little, just a little bit. But that doesn't mean you still can't go out to the other end and Yeah, not. you can still watch. I mean, I like when you're out on that balcony area, um, they have signs so you know what you're looking at. You know, here's the Magic Kingdom and here's this resort, that resort. So that's kind of give you that basis. Um, that's really nice. Um, it has a pretty decent little food menu. Yeah. Um, and, oh, the beers. Uh, decent beers. However, there is nothing on draft. Everything is in cans and bottles. Uh, supposedly, when uh, we were told that uh, when they, it was kind of like a last minute decision, um, or when they made the decision to put this lounge up there, uh, unfortunately, putting in any tap lines were not part of that. So, eh, it's fine, because I think this way it actually gives them a better chance to rotate in different beers, so I'm not at all sad about that. Exactly. Um, there is one honorable mention. Yes. Um, it, it, it's no longer around. I had the pleasure of visiting twice, um, and that is, uh, an old favorite from Pleasure Island. Thank you. Pleasure <laughs> Island. <laughs> of course, that would be the Adventurers Club. Congolush. <laughs> um, of course, you know, he as he said, he's more into beers. However, at that time, you weren't as... Right. I, I enjoyed my mixed drinks. Uh, I was very much, you know, it's like, I still enjoy a good martini every once in a while, but... You know, I was introduced to this concoction. I was like, I must have more. And I drank several that first time. He was quite happy. Well, and then, of course, there was all the entertainment and the yeah. theming. And it, all around, fun, fun place. Trader Sam's is nice. It's just not quite the same. But there are a lot of things we enjoy there as well. Um, At least our Trader Sam's in yeah. Disneyland. We as, have not visited the one again, in Walt Disney World yet. Yes. Um, that is on the list of places to go as well, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Um, and of course, if you are traveling with people who do not indulge in adult beverages, Disney's really good about having um, non-alcoholic options. Um, a lot of their uh, specialty cocktails do come non-alcoholic. Of course, you could always talk to your bartender. Usually they're really good about trying to come up with something um, for those who do not imbibe because of course there are some people who don't imbibe for a variety of reasons in fact um, There was a couple of trips. We traveled with a friend who didn't drink at all which and she really didn't do uh, caffeine either but managed to find her a lot of things that she um, was very happy to uh, try um, that did not contain alcohol or caffeine and um, So she didn't have to live on water and Sprite the whole trip. She exactly. was actually she was actually kind of shocked about that <laughs> Exactly she had no idea Disney had all these things, and we're like, but it's Disney! They tried to give you some sort of variety. So, 
that's our list. There might be items on this list that you're like, you guys are idiots. And are you totally disagree with and then there are some things that are going hey have you tried this place yet if so tell us below in the comments uh, whether you disagree agree or going hey try this one out if you liked it give us a thumbs up yep and if you like us a lot subscribe Watch that subscribe button over there it might be over here tell I don't your know friends <laughs> but yeah that that's what this is about just having fun and figuring things out yep because isn't that what we do in life yes exactly all right so see y'all later bye, bye.